Here is how I make my Renegade Marines. The first step to 3D kit bashing is figuring out what your guy needs. And since what you see is what you get is important to a lot of people, I like to make my kit bashes at least try to adhere to that rule. So I go into Battlescribe and make sure I know exactly what the mini should have. In this case, I'm making a marine with a blight launcher. Next, I'll look up what the weapon looks like. This also helps me get ideas for the parts I'll need and what the main features of the weapon are. A blight launcher has a big ol' barrel, so I'll look for something that has that. Then I'll search through a site for something that fits the rough look of the weapons. I've been a supporter of the Maker's Cult for a minute now, so I have access to a lot of their stuff, and it is a great source of high quality prints to choose from. Keep a lookout for legs, torsos, and arms that might look good. Remember, you can always cut up a file to get specific things out of it. This step I also try to keep in mind what the weapon could also proxy for. Multi-use minis are the best, and the gun I chose could also possibly pass for a Swampy Plague Melta or a Rocket Launcher if I were running him as a normal Chaos Space Marine. Once I've found the files, I head over to Blender and start chopping it up. I use legs from the Maker's Cult Valorcore line, torsos from the Cyberzerkers, and heads from another Patreon called Saint Decent. I also use various other prints from the Maker's Cult and prints I found on Thingiverse.com, like knives, skulls, shoulder pads, and mushrooms. You'll need to scale things up and down so they look natural. My first test prints of these guys were way too big, so I brought in a mini of the right scale, in this case I want them to be roughly the size of a Primaris Space Marine, and use that as a reference. I've had a lot of people say they look more like Scions or Traitor Guard than Marines, and that's fine. The more things these guys can count on, the better. I also added a big barrel on his back. Maybe it could be holding swamp water or something. I don't know. Make sure you keep playing around with the pose by selecting objects and rotating them, and checking the pose from different angles. I also made a hollowed out 32mm base by taking a base file I found on Thingiverse, copying it in place, scaling it down, and using bool difference to cut out the shape. I plan on filling it with resin later to make it look like he's walking through a swamp. Once you're happy, select the whole mini, export it, and get to printing. Once the mini was printed, I went ahead and put it through my Blanchitsu process. But this time, I didn't hold back when adding texture paste. More texture is more good, as the kids say. Zenitho, and you're ready to paint. I'm extremely happy with how this guy turned out. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you enjoyed and want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. Alright, bye bye